Hi, my name is Becca. I have been uh, resin printing for about two years with my photon printers and I've only recently uh, started using a flexible build plate. I knew about them but I didn't really think it was something I needed until I tried one. Uh, my first thoughts when I read about them online was I don't really understand what a flexible build plate is. It sounds weird, it sounds like it would kind of break my prints or make it harder for my printer to work um, or more likely to fail but oh I was a bit wrong about that. Basically a flexible build plate is a magnetic strip that you add to the surface of your build plate um, where your prints would normally stick and you attach it to it and then you use this very thin piece of metal um, to stick it to the magnet, which you can then detach when your prints are done. Something really fancy about it, and it will add a couple extra millimeters to your printer, but that's not a bad thing. You can just reset the home of your printer for to account for the extra couple millimeters, and in my case, it actually helped my mono. It would make a really horrible grinding noise when it hit its home position, but now it doesn't because it doesn't have to go as far anymore. Um, it's super easy to apply. It kind of comes like a screen protector for a mobile phone where you peel off the adhesive protecting film and then you just stick it on, trying to be as accurate as possible. Okay, so now that we know what a flexible build plate is, what does it actually change in regards to printing? Well, I struggle a lot to get my prints off the build plate. Um, if your printer is working correctly, then you want your prints to stick to the plate as much as possible. And it's a good thing that they are hard to remove, because that means they're not sticking to the vat. But I struggle a lot to get them off. And I don't have a lot of room where I, I have to print, so it's always a bit awkward to try and get the prints off, like with the scraper, with a razor blade. I'm always worrying that I'm going to break the print or that I'm going to knock something over or gouge out my own hand or something with the razor blade. It, it was always a faff and you want to minimise the downtime between prints. So being able to just take the build plate off once the print is done and just like bend it slightly and have the the finished complete print just pop off and ready to go into the wash and cure or whatever you're using to clean it is such a liberating feeling i can't stress enough how it was spending several minutes just trying and trying to get the print off because it's just adhered to the build plate too well and I know, woohoo, my prints are sticking to my build plate, but geez, some of these were sticking so much that they just became a nightmare to detach from it. So that's about it. I highly recommend getting a flexible build plate if you're also struggling to get your prints off the build plate. Um, but yeah, if anyone has any questions about printing or flexible build plates or what printers I use or resin or etc etc just put a comment down below and thank you very much for watching I'll talk to you guys next time